Hi guys, Ape here of the Pocketbot Collective. Back once again with another Beast Wars review. And today we are going to have a look at Transformers Legacy Deluxe Class Buzzsaw. And Deluxe Class nowadays in Hasbro terms doesn't relate to the scale anymore, but more to the, the worth of the figure. So what used to be a deluxe class and thus most likely too big for a legend class collection is nowadays a lot better compatible. Let me put it that way. Plus, of course, this mold, it's a great mold anyways um, and should be part of any Beast Wars collection. But before we get into this any further, let's see what this guy comes with. Here we go, the standard legacy box, although, <laughs> and the, the light is actually helping me now, look, there's a plastic window in there. Why? I do not know. <laughs> but yeah, this one has a plastic window, which is handy if you want to keep them in the box and keep them dust free. Um, I don't keep mine in the box, so for me, it doesn't really matter. But yeah, there we go. Um, real cool artwork on there. A thing I've seen people point out is that on the box he seems to have translucent wings, whereas the actual toy has... It's translucent plastic, but it's painted over black. Which I think works for the figure. But yeah, translucent would have also been cool. Um, nice artwork on there. Really nice artwork, actually. The back shows him, again, with the translucent wings. But there we go. And the uh, legacy artwork on the other side. Um, just noticing here. Is there no QR codes on the box? Huh. I thought they all the legacy ones came with a QR code where you can scan the tech specs. But I guess not. Uh, not all of them, at least. <laughs> but yeah, that's as much as I can say about the box. Of course, he comes with his instruction sheet. Is what it is. I think if you transform them once, you don't need it anymore. But it does help to know where what tabs in. Besides that, he is a very cool wasp. He is called Buzz Saw, of course. Um, he is a repaint of Waspinator. You probably haven't seen him in the cartoon, that is correct, but he was in the IDW comics. That's where I know him from. And when I found out that he's compatible with Legend class figures, or like with the former basic class Beast Wars figures, I was sold and I went and got this guy. Mandibles. Can, or do you call this mandibles? I don't know if you call them mandibles on, a, on an insect, but they articulate. The little antenna also articulate. Can't do it like that, but I, I don't know. Somehow I, I feel they need to be forward facing. <laughs> uh, the legs are just on hinges. The front legs are separate from the two back legs. The back legs are quite stiff, but they can also move. Wings are on ball joints. And at the ball joint, you can see that it's just clear plastic, but painted over. Against bright light, it's also fair, uh, kind of translucent, but yeah, I can't show that off here. Very nicely sculpted though. Obviously you can see the robot legs hanging down there and you can see the robot arms folded down there. But it's pretty good. Doesn't bug me. Um, does come with a weapon, but that's the bottom part here, um, which is kind of hard to pop out now. So we'll do that once we've uh, transformed him. Um, just for some old mode size comparisons, let's roll in Iron Factories. Run amok. And a 
another Hasbro insect from the Combiner Wars line, Power of the Primes, Titans Return. <laughs> I can't remember which part this guy was in. Well, there we go. And you can see that the sizing is pretty comparable. So there we go. And just to show him off next to a classic, basic class Beast Wars bug. There we go. Buzz Saw and Buzz Claw. And that works out pretty well. All right, let's get him transformed, shall we? There we go. Now he's a little bit more involved to transform than some of the other figures, but that's mainly because he doesn't tab in securely in a lot of places. Some tabs are way too tight, like my wrist articulation is really tight. Um, and the purple part here being tabbed into the bug, or, or sorry, the wasp abdomen is also ridiculously tight. Um, but then again, when you have them in robot mode, this whole upper part doesn't really tap in all that well. So, <sighs> slight QC issues, I would say. Um, but not to the point where it's really bad, luckily. Um, the wasp head here is on some tiny sliders. I hope that's going to hold up over time. But for now it works. Um, he's got the hinges at the um, shoulder, but also the rotation. Cut there, so that rotates. Hinged elbow, just 90 degrees. And wrists can go all the way around, as you saw. Legs are on hinges. Sorry, I'm not sure if you can see that. And it's got the mushroom pack in there. The knee actually bends forward for transformation and backwards. 90 degrees. Foot has articulation. You can use these bits as stabilizers. And come on, bend back. See, that's what I mean with that is tight. But for a foot, that's not bad. And he has a good ankle rocker. Also has... Waist rotation, although these mandibles get a little bit in the way, so you might have to just pop it off. There we go. Wings are still the same, they're on ball joints, so you can bring them up if you want. You can pose them the way you want to. 
I'm just noticing now that the top of the wings is glossed, but the bottom of the wings is flat. There you go. Um, weapon, like I said, it's easier to push out from robot mode. Just push on the peg there, sorry. And then it moves up so you can pop it out. It isn't, it's not much of a weapon, I have to say. It's just his bug abdomen. I think there's an upgrade kit to make this uh, uh, a bit cooler. I don't have it, but there you go. I don't think I'll bother with it either. He can hold it obviously in his hand, but to be fair, I don't really care about this weapon. So I just leave it stored where it is. Um, before we go into comparisons, I have to say one of the things that kind of hinders this figure are all these legs hanging off of him. It limits his possibility, but it's an easy fix because these legs are just held in. It's just a little mushroom peg held in place by friction. It's quite a bit of friction, <laughs> but... With a little bit of force, ugh, you can get them out of there. And you can just pop them back in whenever you want. Hold on, let me get the other one out as well. If we can do it on camera. Like I said, they are tight, but... There we go. See? Four legs. It can go, which means if we put him back together, <laughs> there we go. Now he is a little bit easier to play around with and to pose because the wings are no longer hindered by all those legs. And actually, I don't mind these legs up here. They add to his character, I think. There we go. That is Boss Saw in robot form. Just quickly have a look at that head sculpt. That is brilliant. I love it. Does have light piping because his eyes are green, but yeah, that doesn't shine through that well, unfortunately. But it's there. Oh, you saw a little bit of a glance there. See? Nice Predacon symbol on his shoulder as well. So yeah, really nicely done in my opinion and definitely a mold you should have a version of in your collection. Now, let's get some size comparisons in. First off with our boy Runabout from Iron Factory and a standard Hasbro Legend class figure. And yes, you can see that Buzzsaw is a bit bigger than Legend class. But not all that much. When I bring in some other comparisons. Like tran Transform Element Scorponok and a basic class old school Beast Wars figure. You can see that he keeps getting closer and closer to the scale. And just for good measure here he is with Hasbro's core class Rat Trap. And Voyager Maximal Grimlock. And you can see that he's quite a bit smaller than a Voyager figure. And only a little bit taller than a core class figure. He's somewhat in between. And that works for me. So is he a recommend? Definitely. I think this is a great figure. That you should at least have a version of in your collection. Obviously Waspinator preceded him. And then there's the... Um, in that new Buzzworthy... Uh, four pack. I think there's a... What is his name? Sky Wasp? So there's various options to get this mold into your collection. And I would say go for it. You will not be disappointed. Alright. 
that is it for me once again thank you guys for watching let me know what you think about it let me know if you have a version of this mold and i'll see you for the next review all right hey birds